Alright, getting in the car. I've had this problem for a while now. It's my fuel pressure regulator. I'm just going to kind of show you what it sounds like when I start the car. Watch the, uh... And that's a start for me. So, um, it's random. It doesn't happen all the time. But I definitely look like an idiot when it does happen. So, that's what I'm fixing. Fuel pressure regulator. If you're going to start, it sounds like that. Chances are, that's your problem. So, I'll show you how to fix it. Alright guys, here's what you're going to need for this job. You're going to need your uh, hammer, you know those pliers, make sure they're nice and thin. You're going to need a ratchet, and this is a 16 millimeter socket, screwdriver, and you're going to need some rags. Got one there. Uh, for the actual repair, you're going to need this. This is the uh, fuel packing ring, and of course your new fuel pressure regulator. And uh, that's all you really need. It's a pretty simple job. It's annoying and it takes a while, but it's not too difficult, technically. So, that's all you're going to need. Alright guys, so what I got going on today is we've got my fuel pressure regulator out. And we're going to be replacing it today. Um, so, going to do a couple things to get ready. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out all the junk in my trunk right now. Or, my, not my trunk, in the back of my car. So, you know, socks. CD case, got a lunchbox back here, uh, that's pretty much all the junk I had. So now that I get that out, I'm going to push the seats forward, and uh, I'm going to pull out the uh, rear seat here, and then I'll get right. back to you. So the reason I wanted to pull the seats as far forward as possible is, I'm going to need to be working right here, put the camera up, I'm going to be working right here in the back seat, so I need as much room as possible. This gives me enough room that I can kind of kneel down here. Luckily, the verse has got a pretty big, pretty big amount of space back here. So I have enough room that I can kneel down, and I'll be able to work. It should be right under here. And I'll be able to work without uh, being in the way. So, next thing I'm going to do is pull out the seat. There's a pain in the butt. I'll do this side first, because I know this side will come up. Alright, so that one came out. Nice and easy. I was gonna get the other one. All right, that took a lot of work, but I got it out. I'll show you the latches. That's basically what holds it in. Uh, the problem is mine kind of coming out a little bit. Uh, it's not real secure in there. I'm actually gonna pull this carpet right back for the repair, just like that. So now I've got the carpet a little more out of the way where I'm actually going. It's right here. That goes to the fuel pump. So that's what I'm doing. So, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull. I'm going to push those through. Put the camera back up here. There you go. So I'm just going to push the seat belts on through. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is it's a 16mm uh, bolt. I'm going to take this seat belt right off. You might need a breaker bar for this. They are. Pretty tight. They might also help if you're loosening them. They're pretty tight. <sighs> Make sure you tighten these back up properly. Don't half-ass it. There we go. So that's out. Pour it on through. There we go. And we'll tuck that. Just tuck it out of the way. Now, Right here, this is what I need to replace. Or where I need to go. Right here. Take these guys. Not gonna be able to hand turn my thing. Oh, yes. There we go. They have a little arrow to tell you which way to turn them. There we go. So, that comes right off. Oop, it is dirty back there. Alright, we're gonna take this gasket off too if I can. Alright. So. So that's what we're getting out now. And these, this thing is supposed to be a pain in the butt. This is the fuel line though. Right there. This is the actual pump assembly. 
Um, but before I get to that, I'm going to do some cleaning back here so I can get all this dust and hair and junk out so I don't have to worry about it while I'm cleaning. And then I'll get back to you after that, guys. Alright, so this is what we're looking at. I got my uh, wiring harness undone there. Get that out of the way. I'm even going to pull this through. Really get it out of the way. Um, I did a little bit of vacuuming back here just to get it out. I'm still going to get some of this stuff out. Not going to let you see it. The reason we want to clean this really well is because if any of this sand gets in the fuel, obviously right. that's not a good thing. You gotta be careful on this metal. It's very sharp. I just took out a solid chunk of my finger there on this right here. This little shit. <laughs> that hurt. Um, basically what I'm just trying to do is I'm trying to take those tabs there. Uh, this tab, not that one. Um, you put a screwdriver in. Just like that, and you just got a hammer on it. You can see that little gap. That's how much it's moved so far. Hasn't moved very much. It is a slow, slow process, and you got to hammer it all the way until this tab, this little piece right here, is in that gap. So I'm gonna get back to that. Uh, I'm gonna bandage up my finger, and I'll get back to you when that's all, all done. Right, to give you an idea of how hard this is, I've been hammering at it. About um, half an hour now, and uh, that's how far I've gotten. My finger there, for comparison, that's a finger's width almost. Half an hour of hammering for that. Um, it's getting easier as I go, but it, I, I mean, I've got that. Oh, that one's bad. It's really deep, actually. Uh, my hand shaking a little bit. But I've hit my hand several times with that hammer. Got some blood there too. Uh, I believe Nissan does make an actual part tool that pulls this out or does something. I don't really know. Either way, it's probably a lot easier than this. Uh, that's what I would recommend if you were doing it. I don't know how the hell it would work, but um, I wanted to do it with basic tools so that you guys can really see how it's done. So that's what I'm doing. Basic tools. And it, 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 it sucks, we'll say. Um, so I'm going to keep hammering at it. I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Again, watch out for this metal. Ow. Alright, another quick little update here. Um, these tabs here, I've learned, if you push them back, you know that one's curled over. That one's kind of almost off the edge there. It's incredibly helpful. <laughs> um, and I'm actually going to also bend these tabs up. All these metal pieces can kind of be bent back down, so I'm not too worried about it. But I think that's part of my problem. It's just that I'm kind of... I'm trying, I mean, there's a reason that there's a little notch here to keep it from moving. So I've got one, two, three bent up in a way. This one I got a little bit, this one I got a little bit. These are really hard to bend up because of the angle you have to hit it at with uh, this bar here. Um, and then with this part here, I can't really go down much further. It's stuck here. So, um, but that's helping. See, I got a little bit further. Uh, this should be the last update. When it's all done, next time you see me, I'll have it off. I'll have this ring off, I hope. See you later. There we go. That's off. Oh, I didn't think of that, did I? Okay. That's the trim ring off. I'm going to leave that right on. Now all that's left to do is, uh, fuel pump. Okay. Okay, that's my fuel pump. I'm remove this. Um, try to keep it tilted up. There will be gas in it. <laughs> um, if you've got a fuel pressure regulator problem, there won't be a lot of gas in it, but there's going to be gas, so be careful of that. Now I can take this trim ring off here. Right off. A little bit of gas there. So I'm just going to take this rag and wrap it around so I don't lose any more. And then I'm going to grab a bucket to put the fuel pump in. I'm going to pull it out. So i got a bucket here. So I'm just going to pull this up and out. Put that out of the way. There we go. Take a little work. Put 
try to empty as much gas as I can into the tank. Then there. Okay. Now, do you guys remember that plastic I pulled off the seat? I'm actually going to use that to cover this up. Um, make sure I don't get too much okay. fumes in the so car. So I've got the fuel pump out now. You can see right here. This is the fuel pressure regulator, and that's the part I'm trying to replace. Pull that out of the way. This is a little pop-off ring. A little. Pull that out, pull out the pin. Put that in the bucket. And then this guy is going to come right out. So, got the old one. I've already put the new one on. To get the old one off, all you're going to do is you take your needle nose pliers, put it in just like this, and I'm just going to yank on it, pull it right out. Um, it is in there quite tight, so it'll be hard, but you'll be able to get it. Um, put the new one on. All you got to do is push it back on. Give it a nice hard push. You'll hear it click. That's how you know it's on. So that's pretty much it for that. I'm just going to put this back in, put it all back together. Got to put my... Don't forget your pin. Very important. That goes in right here. So I'm just going to push that back on. That's back on so it's secured. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to put this back in and tighten it back up. Make sure you get your little thing in there. This thing is very difficult to take out because of the size. It will kind of click in by itself, but you do need this in the end to uh, really get it on tight. So now I'm going to put this back on. Secure it just a little bit. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Take my fuel line, plug that back in. You gotta make sure your um that a little bit so you can see better. You gotta make sure that your little connector here is in right. I don't even know how that's tight, but whatever. Um so basically all I have left to do now is just um, hammer this back on, tighten it up, all right, good to go. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer this guy back on, which is the opposite of how it came off. I'm just going to stick the hand right in there. Uh, see how much of a pain this was to get off? I imagine it's going to be a pain to get back on. So I won't show you the whole thing, it's probably going to take me an hour. But there you go, that's my fuel, my fuel pressure regulator. This guy right here, replaced. That's trash. We also replaced the packing ring. It was just a little form of the seal. Um, but that's it. So, uh, that's all I got today for you. I hope this helped. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, yes. always a good idea after you finish the repair before you've got everything quite fully buttoned up back there. want to make sure it works, so... So I'm going to go back and get the car on, not started. I should hear the fuel pump. I hear it. It's just a really, really, really slight hissing sound, which will be the fuel pump right, going. Guys, so it's been half an hour. Uh, I've got it it's been sitting here in the driveway. And I'm going to go for a little test drive now, make sure everything works. But just uh, want to make sure it starts up good and show you guys the end result. There we go. So, if you remember uh, in the beginning when I showed you how it used to sound. And how it sounds now. Obviously it's a lot better now. So, hopefully you guys can fix it yourself. Save yourself some money. And uh, that's it. See you later. Alright, so this is my first test drive with the fixed fuel pressure regulator. And then we're gonna go do some really quick acceleration, see what it sounds like.